Okay, people, so I'm starting here and I'm continuing. After I was denied my rights by London Early Years Foundation, the Judiciary of England and Wales, second miscarriages of justice, I they are not in chronological order. I contacted Prime Minister David Cameron, open letter telling him about my situation. And I was put in touch with the Department for Education. And I was called by a David Chapman. As a result, I went and done LSA training. Yep. As a result, I'm passing people. One day I'm going to be these people. Yeah? Yeah? Reverend John Markham and Keith Thomas. One day I intend to become these people because of the systematic discrimination that has left me coming from the dentist. I almost have no teeth left. And I'm working hard and spending my money to save whatever else is left. Yesterday, people commented how well I'm looking. Others who have seen me recently, I'm going to cross over here, are saying the same thing about how healthy I'm looking, how well I'm looking, and all the the acknowledgement. But people don't know how hard it has been for me since the death of my mother, when I became the target of London Early Years Foundation and those involved in the systematic discrimination. The world must be told that the, the mother country is more racist than when the Windrush generation came. 1948, Maud is 1971. She's one of the last ones that got caught up. Maud is such a lovely lady. Yeah, and I was even thinking after her, what is happening with the Windrush group? Yeah, but I will always give, sing praises to Mr. Seeley and the fact that he discovered me at Walworth living room when I was part of the Pembroke House team working in partnership with cardboard citizens to knock on doors on the Aylesbury estate. Yeah? So you see, I have made headline news the first time when I begged the South London Press to write my story or publish my story, Barclays defrauded me and the outcome was I was treated like a criminal. Yeah? Not walking. Need to walk over here. I was treated like a criminal and it continues today where I was made a criminal needing emotional regulation treatment because I refuse to accept the second miscarriage of justice another school that is linked to the Walworth living room and now how I am being treated after I was one of the main narrators one of the main narrators on their fundraising video I'm walking past the Walworth living room because you know what my stories will be told my stories will be heard pedophiles rapists 
those who made attempts on my life to section me, to murder me, to kidnap me, housing for women, Barclays, the latest in the list of gory colonizers nationwide that I went and asked for advice. Yeah? When Santander started acting up about my husband's money and what Nationwide has now turned around and done after I had to go get a joint account with my husband because Barclays closed my account. Yeah? Lord, forgive them for they know not what they've done. But in forgiving them, I will be naming them, including my family and friends who have left me to die slowly by torture. I will not make them long. I don't know what is recording. I'm not seeing the face of this thingy. But if God is in the vessel, we can smile at the storm. I'm using my Christian codes or my biblical codes and you Google my business has decided not to approve them. Now, who are the pedophiles sat in Google my business, monitoring my account after Mervilly Consultancy was suspended for inappropriate activities? Now, what inappropriate activities is that in my business when you give platform to pedophiles to target me? Yeah? Let me end this one at Sorry Square Mission.